How's it going guys? Vince here. Hope you're having a great weekend. Now I know on that last part some of you are probably wondering why some of those bores weren't exactly uh, on size the first time. So what we did was we put that helical tool in a BT30 tool holder and we're going to use our Speroni tool setter to see the actual diameter and the runout of this tool. Measuring both the axial and the radial runout. Um, the radial is not really going to matter just because I'm not using this tool setter, sorry, this uh, tool holder in the HDM. But let's see what we got here. All right, Z, which is our, our axial, 8 tenths, I mean, pretty small. Those 438 bores were coming out to uh, 434. Well, what that means is our cut was actually two thou from where it was supposed to be because two thou on a sidewall is going to mean four thou in diameter. So most of that was a tool, tiny bit was uh, due to deflection and uh, an extra finish pass or spring pass would take care of that. Um, but on this uh, big part, what I did was before I even measured the bores that it was going to do, I just comped it that two thou negative. So this is a half an inch bore, half inch pin. It's a good fit. Let me do it again. See? Oh, I love that sound. Anyway, there you go. First fit, good first time off the machine. And yeah. Oh, here, here's another cool thing about this machine. You see this face? I did it both ways. Very consistent both ways, which is good. But as you can see, the tool marks change every time the end mill moves a little bit off the material and that's just because the tool pressure is changing what i'm really looking for is the consistency and it looks great well hope you guys enjoy some of this information catch you on the flip side